All right, guys, here we are back again, um, about midway, uh, mid-2000s into the Aussie discography here, um, album reviews and, of course, the ranking at the end. And this time we're looking at, in my opinion, the only bad album out of, uh, out of his discography. And but here's the here's the kicker is that it's not even songs of his. It's all covers, and we're talking about 2005's Undercover, which has a pretty interesting lineup actually. Uh, Jerry Cantrell from Alice in Chains does the guitar work. Does a pretty cool job on here. Um, the production is I'm not a fan. It's muddy at certain parts of it, and there's certain aspects of certain songs that I'm not really digging that I'll talk about. But overall, guys, I'm not. I don't really like cover albums. I'm, I'm not a fan. I don't mind a band doing a little cover um, and, you know, throwing that maybe a cover, maybe two at the most on an album. Um, but, yeah, I'm not really a cover album guy. And it just so happens some of these are pretty bad covers. So, and some of these, disclaimer here, uh, some of these I forgot off the top of my head who exactly did them. Uh, if I looked at it, I would know, but I, I'm probably... Some of these, um, you know, I don't have a list of it here. I just have a list of the songs. And so I may uh, forget off the top of my head a couple of the artists who originally did this. But anyways, we'll start it off with the cover of, uh, of course, Joe Walsh. Um, Joe Walsh's Rocky Mountain Way. I'll say that's a pretty cool cover. Uh, really bluesy, you know. Jerry Cantrell knows what he's doing on guitar. Um, so he's not really a problem on any of this album. But, uh, yeah, th this is a pretty cool cover. I could see Ozzy doing, or, I mean, he actually did do it, but, <laughs> but like, if that didn't happen, I could see Ozzy's vocals fitting on that song, which they did uh, really well, and a pretty cool cover. Then you've got, um, of course, the Beatles, In My Life, and that, that's, again, a good cover. Like, see, this starts off with some pretty cool covers here, because um, In My Life, that's a pretty cool um, track of him, you know, it's kind of... Like he does his uh, bal Ozzy does his ballads and stuff like that, so that kind of fits right in with that. Then we got another good cover. See, so it doesn't. It's not just horrible on every song, but uh, Mountains uh, Mississippi Queen, which this is maybe the best cover off here. Well, one of them at least. Really, really cool um, version here, and I think Jerry he actually, he absolutely rips it on guitar in this thing um, during this track. Then I forget uh, who this one's by. Go Now. I think it's a pretty old song. Um, kind of a swing kind of vibe. I don't like it. I don't really like... Uh, uh, I've not even heard the original song of that one, actually. But um, I, I'm, I'm not a fan. Ozzy's voice on here, it just doesn't sound right to me. The production is really, really bad, in particularly on this song. And uh, I'm not about it. Then we've got another one I might believe... I forget who originally did this one, Woman, which, not about that one either. Just kind of, you know, some basic stuff that I think was pretty lame as a cover choice. And then, you know, I'm sure the original song's not bad. Again, not I've not even heard that original song. Then we've got, yeah, this one is definitely up there in the, in the running for best cover on here, is uh, 21st Century Schizoid Man, of course, by the prog legends of King Crimson. And man, that he just knocks that out of the park. Ozzy's voice fits so well with that. And then the, you know, of course the riff is Jerry does a great job uh, riffing this thing. So that that is definitely up there. I, I love that. That's one of those tracks that I'm, if I do come back to any off here, that is definitely one of the like the biggest ones that I would come back to is their cover twenty Ozzy's cover twenty first century schizoid man. But anyways, then we've got, oh, this is an atrocious cover here. Um, of course, David Bowie, uh, All the Young Dudes. Mm, it is, it just sounds like a kid's bop thing. I, I don't know, I guess it's the backing vocals and stuff on it. And then there's like some female vocals going on. I don't, I don't really like the choice of the female backing vocals on this album. Of course, I'm not opposed to that on other albums and stuff like that. But I just don't think it works here at all. And especially on this song, it, it sounds like a kid's bop, just very corny cover of this song. You know, and it's just like, oh, that does not do it for me at all. Then we've got another one here for what it's worth. Can't remember, uh, trying to remember exactly who that one was by. 
I, I'm drawing a blank there, but just another mediocre cover. And same with the next one where he covers good times, another mediocre one. Then we've got a pretty, here we go, another a pretty good one here, Sunshine of Your Love by Cream, which I think he his voice fits pretty well on here, um, especially in the chorus. He kind of sounds like, I, I don't really know how to describe it, his, his voice just it fits very well on this song. And it's kind of like, uh, like with a lot of these, it's really hit or miss on if Ozzy should be singing some of these or not. But that's definitely one of them. Then you've got Fire, which is okay, I guess. Um, John Lennon's Working Class Hero. I do not like his cover of that at all. Um, and then you end it with something that really fits him. Uh, cover of Rolling Stone's Sympathy for the Devil, which is kind of rem just reminds you of Speak of the Devil, you know, the, the live album uh, in the 80s of Ozzy. But um, that was a really cool cover, and it really did fit well. Um, and, you know... The lyrics just, they, Ozzy knows how to run the melody really well and but also put a tiny bit of a spin on it. Just enough to keep it, you know, keep faithful to its original incarnation, but, you know, kind of add his own twist. And this is where the backing vocals don't really bug me because, you know, they're actually in like the, especially near like, you know, about midway point and onward through the song on Sympathy for the Devil. But, you know, and, and really, Jerry Cantrell, I'm, I don't really like what he did on Sympathy for the Devil, the guitar work on there. It sounds it sounds a little weird, the tone he decided to use on that particular song. It didn't really fit well with me. But, um, anyways, guys, yeah, that is, uh, I, I think it's a, it's a terrible album. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to listen to it. I, in fact, I, I mean, this is one, I've only probably listened to this whole album all the way through twice. <laughs> one, you know, once a while back ago, this one, of course, being the second time. Um, but uh, this is this album is just not good. I I maybe recommend you know one of the very few tracks there that I did say were pretty good. But even even you're not missing much if you skip those. <laughs> but um, all right. So next we'll do our last um, Aussie album from the 2000s, which would be uh, Black Rain. I think it came out in 2007. Yeah. Uh, 2007's Black Rain, which of course Zach Wilde's back on guitar again, and to really, we'll get into what exactly my thoughts are on there. I got some kind of mixed feelings on some of the tracks off there, but um, thanks guys for watching. I'd love to hear everybody's thoughts on this and just covers in general and cover albums in general. Thanks guys.